welcome to the North Tahoe High School Navion Student Tutorial Series. Welcome back to another episode of the Navion Student Tutorial Series. My name is Jeff. I'm one of the high school counselors at North Tahoe High School. And in this tutorial, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the Navion Student homepage. If you're not sure how to log in, be sure to go back into the Navion Student Tutorial Series playlist and check out the, the video titled Getting In. That will guide you through the login process. Once you've logged in, most students should see a version of this website. There are a few things that do change based on which grade you or your student might be enrolled in, such as this announcement section as you see my mouse scrolling around on the screen. Starting at the top left is the Naviant student icon. This is important primarily because anytime we may ask you to go back to home, this is an easy way to do that. Simply click on the Naviant student button and it'll take you back to this page. Down below you'll see your name. So if you don't see your name for some reason, you might be logged in incorrectly or using a different student's account on accident. Below that is a very quick way to search for colleges or careers. It'll initially default to searching up a college, which I'll show you how to do briefly in just a second. And then if you toggle down the menu item, it will so show an option to search for careers. And you just type the name of, name of a career in. So let me just show you that real quick. We're going to go deeper into each of the different careers, colleges, and different about me sections in an upcoming tutorial. But for this, let's just show you a brief search to test things out. So we'll just put in California. You hit go. And that's going to give you any school that's listed as California, either in the name or the location typically. Okay, and you can scroll down and any of these schools are clickable. One thing that you'll want to note is that schools that have this little icon next to it indicates that it has an enhanced profile next to it. So it will give you a little bit more detailed insight into that school within the Navians page. If you'd like to select a few schools and maybe go back to them later, we can do a few of those right now. So we want to say Northridge. You can tick off this icon here and say Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, go Mustangs. And scroll back up to the top and hit save selection right here. That's gonna pull those little uh, schools that you've checked off up to the top of the list. And you can add additional ones if you're looking for them as well and hit finish searching. And that's gonna take you to be able to uh, create a list with those. You can click on these names. So like I said, you can always click on this button to go back home. So that's this top menu bar. As we go down the left-hand side of the screen over here, this is gonna be your welcome section. Okay, so this is going to be any type of notes or information um, that's general. To, generally for us at North Tahoe High School, it's, it's, a, it's a general welcome message with some details specific for your grade level. So my fake student here, Millie, is a senior in class of 2018. So it has some details here. If you click on read more, it's going to take you if there's any additional information. On each of these pages, I do in, in, include our CEEB code or our college board, or college board school code. That's used for a lot of different things, especially in their senior year. We can go back home by clicking up there. There's also a home button up here in the right hand screen as well. It's just a bigger and easier way to push that Naviance student icon. Further down the left hand side of your screen are some to do's and tasks. Now these come in a, diff in a variety of different things and it will come up more in the about me and the planner page, but it shows you a quick at a glance what's coming up or what might be overdue in, in the example of my fake student. Um, and these are either school assigned or student created. And so some things are created by you. So you might maybe have set a goal or you have uh, used your planner or calendar option to create checklists or things that you want to do. Um, that will show up here as well as things that we as a school assign uh, for you to get done. Okay. Um, it has a quick link to go to that planner page. There are additional resources to help you get ready. This I imagine will be building out soon. Um, one thing that is of particular importance is the Naviance test prep section. Here at North Tile High School, we offer the ACT version of Naviance test prep, which is a free for student uh, use, uh, great online test prep program. And if you clicked on it, it would take you to that student's page uh, for the test prep. It is an adaptive uh, ACT which is a, one of the two major college admissions exams prep program. The SAT has a similar version, but it's free through the Khan Academy, which is a partner with College Board. Scrolling back up to the top, we'll see some information up here. 
as we go through the these next few tutorials, um, if you've used Naviance before recently, and this is recorded in April 2018, you'll notice that this has maybe uh, changed in appearance. And so um, Naviance has a tool to give feedback if something you feel is not working correctly, if it could be presented differently, please do. They, they, they value student feedback. Please give the feedback to Naviance of what you would like to see different. Next to that, there's some messages. So uh, when we send out emails or messages, they also go to your Naviance student account. So you can click on that and get access to any archived messages if you don't want to have to dig through your emails. A logout button if you might be logging in, say on a shared computer or something, or need to just log back out and log in. And then you have your, your kind of navigation menus up here toward the top. What used to be uh, part of a kind of a tab system are now just menu items. And so if we ever asked you to go say to the college menu, you're gonna hover over the college menu and click on that. And that's gonna pull down different information. We'll have a separate tutorial for each of these different menu items up at the top, but just a brief overview. This gives you all the relational tools that, that kind of are coinciding with the college search process. The next is the careers research option with a link to save road trip nation, saving careers, looking up pathways, careers, and clusters. The about me tab. This is where many of our students at North Tower high school actually start. They start in many of the assessments, uh, surveys, post-secondary planning, and things like that. So, so if you ever ask you to say, go and take a, do what you are a career interest profiler, that's where you'll find that information. Plus all the details about that. And then the, my planner gives you information on goals to do tasks, and then if you just click on any of these, it'll take you to their homepage. So you can click on, for example, the career interest profile and get details or start that interest inventory. Scrolling down on the right-hand side, there's a few things that they've listed here on the right. Um, colleges I'm thinking about, that is a list and we'll go, again, we'll go further, more in detail about this in a future tutorial, but this is a list that, think of it like your research list. Schools that maybe you want to dig in a little bit deeper, but you don't have to remember off the top of your head. Add schools to this colleges I'm thinking about list, and it will help you not have to start fresh every time you want to think about your college application process. The other nice thing about it from my perspective is I also get to see this as a school counselor. Uh, I get to see kind of what colleges you're thinking about, and that helps me inform you and your parents better as we have meetings throughout your four years of high school. The colleges I'm applying to list, that's a link to uh, that most students use in their senior year. And that's where you take col colleges from that I'm thinking about list and move into your active application list. There's a careers and clusters uh, kind of planning list. And that's when you're doing any kind of career research. You can save careers that might be of interest or maybe that you need to do a little bit more research on. And then finally, what's new? This is gonna be any updates, new information. For example, when a college maybe sets up a visit, you'll see an indicator there about an upcoming college visit. Um, and then finally, there's some additional resources down here. As you keep on going down, you can see a few other links that we've included, um, as well as pages and things like that. Okay, so I, I hope that you guys take a look at Naviance. Please do check out the remainder of the Naviant student tutorial series videos in that playlist on our North Tahoe High School YouTube page. Thanks for watching.